All right, here we go. Here we go. Shake kind of boost down the line, hobo tip. All right, look. So um, I felt this in my spirit to do this today. I right, so look. This might be kind of crazy. I don't know, but we're gonna try it anyway. So I went and got my Lisa's SR18 um, drum machine. I went and got my little my little 66 P bass, and we're gonna make some noise today. You ever had the opportunity to wait, wait before I even start? I went and got my Boss Tuner too, y'all. I gotta make sure everything is tuned before we start. You're like, man. Why do you say I got that old boss tuner? Well, there's a good reason I say I got this old boss tuner. Because it works. <laughs> Look, maybe old and big and bulky to turn around to tow it around. I still love it. Oh yeah. Come on, baby. Alright, so I'm gonna use my 66, and today what I want to do is I want a, a lot of times when I'm in the studio, um I I work on my chops. And a lot of people are like, oh, you mean you just go through scales and you just go through uh, 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 modes and like, uh, no, man, no, ma'am, no man and no ma'am. That's not what I said. Uh, well, that's not what I meant. All right. So what I normally do when I come in here in, in the studio, is, this is a place of, of, of um, creativity. So what I normally do is get in here and get my my little my little drum machine and um Ooh, you better stop with your little your little your little grown self <laughs> i say grown self i say grown self scales and modes i particularly work on groove all right and a lot of people don't know what that means shameful to say that a lot of people don't know what grooves are how they originate some people think grooves originated if you just started playing a lot of scales and a lot of modes that ain't a groove actually that's confusing to somebody who's trying to learn um if i was trying to learn um you know how to play bass and i turned your video on and, and all I see you is doing this is all the time, then I can't learn anything. But if you if you show me how to start a groove, I probably can do it myself. It's like, you know, the old saying, you, you know, you give a man a fish, he, uh, he'll eat for a day. But you teach him how to fish and he'll eat forever. You know, kind of, kind of something like that. All right, so what I normally do, is I'm, and I'm, I'm going to show you what I normally do. I get in here and uh, do I have it on? Oh, wait, let me, let me turn my amp on because you're going to need to hear. There you go. I did. All First thing I need to do is I you know on this machine it has a bass drive on it so I need to mute that bass out and so I'll start anywhere like a hundred let's start at a hundred so I tap it and put it right at a hundred sometimes 95 and I hit it and I try to go through the different grooves that I hear you know the drum machine will give you a lot of a lot of beats. And the greatest thing about the drum machine, it don't lose time. So I'll think of something. I'll just put my hand on the bass and just So I need to go to preset B to see what preset B sounds like. So I 
I do a feel and I hit B and do a feel. Yeah. 
to where it came from. Funk came from the early 60s and 70s. I would particularly say the 70s, where they they found one group, one movement and made that one movement move you. The drums pretty much kept it pretty simple, but the movement of the bass, not a lot of notes. Please, guys, I keep saying this. I, I ran across another brother last night that said it was a funk I, I, I'm going to say exactly what it was. He called it Funk Sinatra. And I, I love what he was doing. Oh, my God, he was doing some amazing stuff. But that's not considered funk. I mean, he was all over the board. I mean, he was all down here. He was doing some of the most amazing triads and runs and modes. He was going through all the modes. That's not funk, all right? I, you know, I, so I asked him, I said, is this the name of the song? Because if it's the name of the song, I get it. But if it's funk and and put Sinatra in it, that's not funk. That's just a groove. And you're doing a lot of things in a groove and you was doing it amazingly. So what I'm saying to you guys um, is that first, you, you before you can learn anything, you know, as far as I'm concerned, um, and nobody says that's law, before you can learn how to groove, you first need to learn how to funk, all right? And that doesn't mean, I keep saying this because I want you guys to understand, doesn't mean how many notes you play. That's not funk. That's just groove, all right? You can groove all day long, but when it comes down to making people go, mm, 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 that's funk, all right? When you get an old person, I said old person, I'm old. When you get an older um, individual and make them sit at the table, and go like this and understand what you're playing, you know, less notes, funk. Um, then you got them. And nobody say you shouldn't learn how to groove because groove is definitely on top. 
but funk starts it all. You have to you have to learn how to funk by yourself. You know, you have to you have to figure out if I if I start a if I start a funk, you know, can anybody catch it? Of course they can catch it. If they're a great musician, they can always catch it. Problem is, are you gonna stay home long enough for them to catch it? You know, or you gonna venture out and do horn lines, you can venture out and do a keyboard line, or you can do chords with an organ line, and you know, that's not that's not the funk. Funk is like that's Boosie. Mm. 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 That's the funk right there. Not. That's not funk. That, that's not funk. I'm sorry. It's not funk. It's I'm I, you know it's it's just not funk. I, I don't say how, I don't I don't know how else to say it's not funk. It's just a groove. Um and you know some people are really good with it. Grooving, not funk grooving all right so once again guys this is only for beginners anyway so all you high class high professionals y'all can y'all can just turn this video off because it just make you mad <laughs> look y'all be like oh yeah dude no you, you know, yeah because I, I learned all these chords man yeah you learn all the chords um and that's great but do you know the chords that's another thing you can learn all these super licks do you know the modes uh do you know what chord is, it, it represents um, can you tell me what it is that you did? If you can't do all that, then you just, you're just faking the funk, man. Basically, you know. And there's a lot of us out there, there's a lot of people out there that can't read, but can actually play you underneath the table. That's cool, you know. But when you start projecting that you, you know, you, you got all this stuff going on and, you know, and then somebody asks you, what, what did you just do? And you can't do it over again or tell them what it was. And now you're faking the funk, you know. So, my thing is to tell y'all today that I love you guys with all my heart. And if you listen, you can learn something. One note will heal this country. I know. One note will heal this country. Please subscribe. Please share. Please pray. <laughs> please pray for it. As I pray for you guys every morning, bright and early before the sun rises. Um... And please help somebody today. There's a lot of people that need help. They won't even say they need help. But when they say they need help, help them. All right? Once again, if you teach a man how to fish, now if you give a man a fish, he can eat for a day. If you teach him how to fish, he can feed his family and eat forever. I'm out of here. Shout out to folks. Shout out to Elon, Home Depot. Peace.